But no one has carried out this experiment with Grower's gorillas in the wild. Will they see this and run a mile? Will they see this and want to investigate it? What will they make of it? That's what I want to find out. I've disinfected everything to ensure there's no health risk to the gorillas. And the mirror is perspex, so it can't shatter if handled. OK. There's a cluster of gorillas down there, and it may well be that it might come up this slope, so I'm just going to see if I can install it down there. The mirror quickly attracts the attention of two young gorillas. Oh gosh, straight away. One of the juveniles has come straight up to it. Not a worry in the world. Some animals are surprised when they see their own reflection and react aggressively. So it's interesting to see that these gorillas are so calm and inquisitive. Absolutely no fear. And this will be the, the very, very first time that any of these gorillas have actually looked into a mirror, seen a proper reflection of themselves. It's almost as if they're, they're more interested in how it feels rather than how it, how it looks. It really shows how gentle they are. It's not like they're seeing this thing and they want to rip it apart and break it. Just exploring really delicately, smelling it, touching it, looking into it. There's no indication that these juveniles are making the connection between themselves and the image in the mirror. Even human children take a while to recognise their own reflection. So maybe... It's just a matter of time. Baby Moira is intrigued. interested, but Moonja wasn't letting him play with the new thing in the forest. Playtime's over. It's been fascinating, but I suspect it would take a lot more exposure to the mirror before the gorillas show signs of self-recognition.